clue to tonight's main event, a three-lap race. Two rally-bred road cars, both sired by the rally champions of their respective generations. The big question, will needles in the old-school Audi take the honours, or will today's technology tell for Butler Henderson in the Mitsubishi? The Audi Sport Quattro was launched in 1983 as the ultimate homologation version of the short wheelbase rally car. And it was so far ahead of its time, it shouldn't be underestimated against today's rally champion. Otherwise known as Mitsubishi's Evo 6, the current undisputed supercar slayer in a saloon shell. It's got loads of power, tons of grip, and it'll change direction faster than a ball bearing in a pinball machine. Which still won't be fast enough to beat me in this Audi. See you at the finish line, Vix. Oh, poor deluded boy. You don't know what you're dealing with. over and done with it should be easy peasy now this five cylinder 2.1 litre turbocharged engine is an amazing 300 horsepower which will launch it to 60 in just four and a half seconds and it'll go on to 155 miles an hour come on tiff you're holding me up come on oh, as i suspected oh no no thinks her Mitsubishi's got more than the 280 horsepower in the Japanese brochure. Well, if you can't win fairly, cheat. What? He's cheating. I don't believe it. Needles is cheating. Whoa! I may have one less cylinder than the Audi and a slightly smaller engine at two litres, but in the dash to 60, I can keep with his 4.5 seconds. And I shall keep on going to 150 miles an hour. Handling is well, it's variable, it's nicely balanced, a bit too much oversteer. I think the differentials are a bit tired on this poor old car. But then she is 17 years old. Although here she comes. Ah, oh, adios, old boy. Right, he cheated to compare that game. Oh no, that's not fair. That's my trick. Power delivery in this thing is wonderful, particularly when the turbo kicks into action. So it rockets me forward. Oh, she's a wonderful car to drive, but I don't think we're going to catch Vicky now. <laughs> yes! Never mind, girl. We've done well. Well, there you are. Proof that new technology has moved four-wheel drive on to new levels. Youth triumphs over old age. Hey, Tiff? OK, so the young pretender may have taken centre stage. But, let's face it, it probably wouldn't be here at all if Audi hadn't made the bold move into four-wheel drive 20 years ago.